everyone and thank you for watching my videos. In this video, we're going to talk about a chart pattern that occurs quite frequently in the Forex market. And as professional traders, we need to be able to develop solid trading strategies every time we come across this pattern. I'm referring to the dead cat bounce. So let's take some time to get some information on the dead cat bounce before we talk about making our investment strategies. The dead cat bounce refers to as a temporary recovery after the prices have fallen sharply. And this is considered a corrective wave pattern. Now, if you remember from the video that I've done on Elliott waves, we have corrective wave patterns and I've already explained to you how significant corrective wave patterns are when we are studying these charts. Now, let me give you an illustration as to how the dead cat bounce works. Imagine standing on top of a tall building and you have a bag of sand and then you drop that bag of sand from the top of the building. What happens when it makes an impact on the ground? It bounces. Now, we may not see the bounce or notice the bounce, but there is a small bounce because the force from the bag of sand due to gravity collides with the density of the ground, causing the bag of sand to move upward. That phenomena is parallel to the Forex market. It just refers to the fact that the buyers, they have pushed the prices down so strongly, but they've, can't, they've come to the point where the bearish market has run out of sellers. So the buyers have stepped in to push the prices upward. And some more information that we need to know about the dead cat bounce is the term is not used when the market stalls in the bear market, but when the market produces a sharp and often steep uptrend in the midst of the downtrend. And like most other charts, we can measure the impact of the bounce by using Fibonacci. Let's take a look at this chart so we can understand how the dead cat bounce affects the Forex market. If you notice, the chart ends with a very strong bearish trend. But watch what happens at the end of that low. As we can see, we have a green candle and that's our dead cat bounce. However, a dead cat bounce does not necessarily end the bearish trend, as we can see in this chart. We have a temporary recovery in the middle of this bearish trend, but after the bounce, what happens? Prices continue to fall. Now, here's what we need to know about how the dead cat bounce affects the Forex market. The investors, they use this pattern in their trading strategies to make a quick profit when, if they are day trading. So this is a very useful pattern. And if we study this pattern and we get the information that we need and we make really strong investments, we can make really good profits off of the dead cat bounce. Or investors may recognize the dead cat bounce as a time to close the position. So if you're a conservative investor and you've gone short on a pair and you like the profits that you're seeing, maybe when the price stalls in the middle of a bearish trend, that could be an indicator that we need to close and take those profits. Now, there, how, how does a dead cat bounce, how, how are dead cat bounces created? What causes a dead cat bounce in the Forex market? The answer, no one knows, but there is some reasonable explanation as to how the dead cat bounce can be created, such as that investors, they've gone short to, and they want to close their positions at the same time and get those profits at the same time, as I mentioned previously, or buyers, they see how attractive the prices look when the prices have fallen that might be an opportunity to buy and push those prices back up and, to, and try to start a new bullish trend. But sometimes buyers realize that there is not enough power to, to break that bearish trend and start a new bullish trend. So the buyers give up, the sellers step back in after taking a break, 
to push those prices downward. Now, how do we trade the dead cat bounce successfully? Well, here are some methods. This pattern is one of the most frequent patterns we'll see in Forex, meaning it happens quite frequently. So if we don't catch the dead cat bounce when it happens, don't worry. We'll see this happen ever so often in many different charts. So we don't want to get impatient. We want to, and also, if this concept is new to you, it's probably not a good idea to make trades right away. Study the dead cat bounce. See how this affects not only the pair that you're studying, but how does it affect other pairs? And also, check the news to see what's happening at the same time we see the dead cat bounce because there's also maybe the news can affect what's happening in that chart as well. And also the probability of a false breakout is minimal, so it's considered a safe way to play the bounce. So, and again, it goes back to the frequency of this chart pattern. It's highly unlikely that we would get a false breakout. And also, keep in mind that the steeper the bearish trend, the stronger the bounce. So when we see a really, a really strong push down and this push happens so quickly, that means the bounce will be larger. So, and that's different for a gradual bearish trend. If it happens very slowly, then the bounce would be very minimal. However, there is one bad thing about trading the dead cat bounce. It happens too quickly. So if we don't catch the dead cat bounce, then we can't make our profits. But again, don't worry. It happens ever so often. So don't get impatient. Just wait for the next dead cat bounce or trade or change to a different pair and look and wait for the bounces on that pair. So so again, okay, so here are some strategies that investors will use when they trade the dead cat bounce. Here's the first type, and here are the steps for type one. We can wait for the bounce to round over and then short sell the pair. It just means that once the market has hit a low and then the prices have risen, now, at the end of the second stalling of the price of the corrective pattern, not the, not the stalling on the, bear, on the bearish trend, but the stalling on the corrective trend, that would be a good opportunity to short that pair. And second, price is expected to decline to at least the previous low made by the sharp initial decline. So, Maybe you don't want, maybe it's not a good idea to go short as soon as the bearish trend resumes, but you might want to wait to see if the second bearish trend surpasses the previous, the low on the previous bearish trend. That might be an indication that the bearish trend has continued. We want to go short there. Third, in most cases, prices will continue downward approximately 15% beyond the initial decline low. A significant support level in this approximate area is normally a good place to exit the entire short position. So sometimes if the second bearish trend hits a, hits a low and stalls at that low, that also might be a good idea to close the position because maybe the bearish trend may be over. So that's the first type. Here's the second type. You can either, first, you can wait for the breakout below the initial decline low, and the daily close below this level would normally be considered a confirmation of the breakout. Waiting for the breakout increases the success rate of the trade, but decreases the amount of gain if the trade reaches your target. And also, second, we can place take profit large, <coughs> sorry, place take 
profit target near a significant support level found near the 15% decline point as measured from the initial declines low. So for the second type, here we want to use our Fibonacci retracements. And again, the Fibonacci retracements, they're provided to you on your trading platform. So that will be very helpful for us to determine where or how, how steep the bearish trend is and how strong that bounce is and where we can open and where we can take our profits. So let's take a look at this chart again. And as we can see, we have a, we have a very steep bearish trend and we do have a significant bounce. That green candle at the end of that low is pretty strong. And as we can see, we have another we have another steep bearish trend. And here we have a very strong bounce on that second bounce. See the red arrow, that's for the first bounce, but look at the second bounce. Notice that as the bearish as the bearish the bear the sellers, <laughs> notice that the sellers, when they push the prices down so quickly, the bounce, the size of the bounce increases. So think about this. The quicker the price falls, the larger the bounce. The slower the price falls, the smaller the bounce. And we can see that in this chart. So we can see quick drops with large bounces, we can see slow drops with small bounces. And to summarize, if we follow the strategies of the first type, so in this video, I've shown you two strategies. The first strategy I've shown you, if you were to follow that, the success rate would be lower and we would risk more of our capital. However, we would get a larger profit. But if you want to follow the second strategy, the success rate is higher. We don't risk that much, but we don't get much of a profit. So again, I've shown you two different types of strategies that will give you two different types of results. And it, it just depends on your trading personality. Maybe you want to trade the dead cat bounce, maybe you don't, but I created this video to give you more options to make more profits in this market. Thank you for watching this video and good trading.